and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So, I'm going to be continuing the timed event uh, Warrior Spirit. But before that, I just want to point out that they did add a new timed event, uh, Almighty Arataki Extraordinary, an exhilarating extreme beetle brawl. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting to that one in this video. But uh, anyways, yeah, so they want me to go check out the results of the vote for uh, Aika's outfit. So let's go do that. It's right nearby. Oh, there's already a crowd gathering in front of the bulletin board. Uh, let Paimon see! Coming through! Oh, I didn't expect the votes to differ by that much. I thought for sure that Masako would win, given that warrior spirit is a competition unique to Inazuma. Just as I predicted. After all, the case files of Miss Orith is a recent bestseller. Not only is the story interesting, but the book's illustrations of Fontaine outfits are also really unique. Hmm. Besides, don't you think that Miss Orth's character is a good fit for Miss Kamisato? Well, Miss Orth is fiercely competitive, but loves to play pranks on others, which is nearly the complete opposite of Miss Kamisato. <laughs> However, it'll be interesting to see Miss Kamisato in a Fontaine outfit. Huh? What are they talking about? Uh, Paimon's kind of confused. I mean, they're talking about her new outfit, but... Yeah. Oh, look! There are some options for the outfits! Pretty please Kitsune Guji? The case files of Miss Orith? Uh, hold on! Didn't they say the choices were gonna be between the four seasons of Inazuma? When did they switch to cosplay outfits from light novels? Maybe they had a change in plans. Maybe something went wrong with the poll. Uh, I, I don't know which one to choose. I'll go with the change of plans. Hi, Sounds like a plan. I'm terribly sorry. I was the one who mixed up the two voting boxes. Oh, really? By the time Mr. Onodera came back from his business trip, the results had already been announced. <laughs> In an effort to keep things confidential, we specifically didn't mark the ballots with the title of the poll. I regret that decision now that everything's gone mixed up. No way! Something did go wrong with the outfit voting! Uh-huh. Traveler Paimon... It seems you've also heard about the results. Yeah, and we're not the only ones. It felt like everyone we saw on the way here was talking about it. What are you going to do? Miss Kamisato, we're the ones responsible for this blunder. I'll go reorganize a vote right now and we'll set things straight. Please wait, Onodera. There might be yet another solution. Oh, really? The poll error is something that only the competition organizers are aware of. The public didn't seem to notice anything wrong with the ballots. Moreover, there were no complaints when people thought that outfits from popular works would make an appearance in the exhibition match. On the contrary, everyone seemed to think it was a special surprise. Since our goal was to generate interest in the competition, the consequences of this mistake shouldn't be viewed as a blunder. Wait, Ayaka, so do you mean that- Yep, she does. Yes. I think we should just make the best of this mistake. In the final exhibition match, I'll simply wear whichever outfit accumulated the most votes. I mean, you still have to make the outfit, right? Or somebody does. Yes, but that will make things difficult for you, Miss Kamisato. Unlike outfits tailored for martial arts, the outfits from the novels aren't designed for combat. Hmm. It won't be a problem. The Fontaine-style dress from the novel shouldn't be too heavy, so it won't affect my abilities. I'll try to get used to it. Even if it's quite different than something I'm accustomed to wearing. Wow. Ayaka is speaking calmly, but Paimon can still feel her courage. All right, I understand. In that case, we'll proceed with Miss Kamisato's proposal. The outfit we prepare for the reader's meet and greet will be tailored and adjusted according to Miss Kamisato's figure. We'll ensure that the outfit is completely ready for the exhibition match. Thank you. It's a lot to handle, but I'm sure you can manage. Hmm. So. Ayaka, will you really be okay wearing some character's cosplay in the exhibition match? You're not pushing yourself because we're here, are you? No, please don't worry. I actually feel relaxed and even a little joyful at the moment. Before, the thought of wearing a fancy dress on the stage of the exhibition match had me worried. I was concerned about whether I would be presentable enough to meet the audience's expectations. However... If I'm wearing the same clothes as a fictional character, 
then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. The detective in the novel is known for being mischievous and doing things her own way. Everyone watching the exhibition match will be able to experience something new in a traditional form. Hmm. So that's what Ayaka, Ayaka is thinking, black. And that's <laughs> not all. Deep down, I've always been looking forward to the day I could wear something different from what I normally do. Traveler, not long after we met, I remember you mentioning that Liyue, Mondstadt, and every nation has their own unique fashion. At that time, I couldn't imagine that one day I would be able to experience all these foreign places. But now, all those wishes that were once impossible don't seem so far out of reach. Besides, my mother was always curious about outfits from other countries when she was alive. This time, I will be able to fulfill my mother's dream. Oh, that's nice. Thinking about it that way, this special outfit can indeed be called a surprise. Huh. In that case, this whole accident with the vote turned out to be a good thing. <laughs> well, now that this is all settled, let's get ready and go to the arena. Yep. Yes. I know you will do great, Traveler. Onadera and I will also head to the arena to watch your fight once we've confirmed my outfit's measurements. Okay, cool. So the next part of the uh, arena matches has been unlocked. I was going to say, I wonder if this uh, new outfit of hers is going to be like a permanent thing or not. I hope it is, but... Anyways, so this one, uh, it looks to have the exact same rules as before. So let's go to the challenge and start it. Hone techniques. Formidable strike. Perform a powerful strike that deals a considerable amount of... Uh, physical damage to the opponent nearby. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's different from what it said before, so... Anyways, let's begin the competition starting on the hard difficulty. And it's been a couple of days since I last played, so... Uh... I may not do too well at first. Yeah, you know, just getting back into the swing of things. This is that, uh, guy that we talked to outside. In the previous video, I believe. Uh, Your journey ends here. Oh. Crap. That one's gonna be a little bit interesting to uh, get used to. Oh. I thought he was doing something else. Oh, you've got to be kidding. He has three different attacks. I didn't do the timing again. I was off on my timing again, rather. Crap. I have to say, he's a little bit difficult. Eh. I actually almost had it that time. Believe it or not. I was like one second late. Although, this time... <laughs> the blade from Inazuma versus Polearm from the desert. I couldn't read the rest of what he said, but that's fine. There we go, finally. I actually managed to uh, parry his attack. Did I manage to get the, uh, the score I need? Yeah, uh, no, wait a second. Ah, man, I was like one second over, wasn't I? I can't check it from here, but I'm pretty sure that I uh, needed to get it done in 75 seconds. Yeah, I, I need to do it again. Darn. That's definitely it. Okay, now let's go to the pro version. And this should be... Ah! I get faked out by that every single time. Oh, that's a new one. So now he has four attacks. Ah, darn. And I, I really thought he was going to do another one. At least I'm able to get that one consistently. Darn it. I thought for sure that I was going to be able to counter that one. There's two attacks with that one. Gotcha. Pound it to the ground. 
Hmm. I managed to parry that one at least. Darn it. A little bit more. Gotcha. Awesome. Okay, let's exit and claim our prizes. And we can claim all four of them, of course. So there we go. And now we're moving on to this one. It's against Taro Maro. Uh, Maru, rather. So let's go ahead and start. Let's start with Heart, of course. I think that this might be a little bit awkward because of uh, it being a dog. Hopefully it's it telegraphs its attacks easily enough for me. We'll see. Uh, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button at first. Oh, it became bigger, so that helped. I'm having a fairly easy time of it so far, I think. Cool. Woof, 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 woof. Ah. Oh well. I messed up on that one. Cool. Almost there. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do the pro version. Pro version start. Uh, okay. Oh, you have to wait till it, till it uh, becomes big or whatever before you can do anything. Oh, wow. Just repeats that over and over again. Cool. Gotcha. I almost feel guilty about beating him up. Almost. But then I remember that it's trying to murder me. Actually, this is all just for fun, right? We're not really trying to hurt each other. Good grief. I actually like this attack of it uh, that it's using here. Uh, just because it's easy to uh, parry. Although, when it uses that, it takes a while to... Whoops. It takes a while to uh, build up the energy meter. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and exit and claim the prizes. And claim all of those. Cool. And can I move on to the next one? Yes, I can. It's against Akatsuki Simon Juzo. Uh, I have to win within 90 seconds. That's different from this. This was 75 seconds. This is 90 seconds. Uh, and of course, pro difficulty needs to be beaten as well. So let's go ahead and do that very fast. Boats are made for. Ferocious combo latches. Enter a special attacking state. Upon using normal or charged attacks, a blade wave will be unleashed that deals physical damage to the, to the opponent. It left. This state will be removed after six seconds. So that's definitely another different, uh, you know, buff thing that you get. So difficulty hard. Let's start and hope that I get it in 90 seconds. This is one of those big guys, so. It could take a little bit longer to defeat him than normal. Hmm. We'll see, though. There should be plenty of attacks to counter. As long as I don't mess up too many times. Oh. I thought for sure that he was about to attack me. Oh. Whoops. Darn it. I definitely would have had that one if I was... If I had the uh, camera facing forward. 
Crash in. There we go. I'll wait. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I messed that one up pretty badly, didn't I? But that's fine, because... I can just do this and easily beat them. That's a pretty nice attack. Okay, let's return to the arena and go on to the pro version. And let's start the pro. Uh, I have to say that that special attack definitely makes this pretty easy. Okay, he's gonna jump back and then do that. Ah. There we go. Darn it. I, I took my... Never mind, it, it doesn't matter. Anything I say will sound like an excuse for me messing up. All that matters is that I did mess up. Okay. I have to say, he is doing a fair amount of damage to me right now. Ah. Oh. I was expecting him to do something different there, darn. There we go. I was expecting him to do that. There we go. Yeah, he's, uh... A little bit harder this time. Darn it. You miss one parry and you have to wait for the, uh, the cooldown. There we go. Yay, I win. Whew. Okay, let's exit. Claim our prizes. Your skills are superb. I've been thoroughly bested. It was an honor to fight against you. I'll have to claim my prizes after this cutscene. Ladies and gentlemen, after an exhilarating battle, the champion for the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition has been decided. Give it up for... The Traveler! Thank you. Tomorrow, we will conduct the final exhibition match. The Traveler and Miss Kamisato versus the almighty shogun's chosen envoy, an autonomous humanoid known as the Magu Kengo. Oh wait, I thought that we were going to be facing off against Ayaka. Hmm, okay. Hmm. We'll see you then. <sighs> that was a most thrilling match, Traveler. Congratulations, Traveler. You've certainly earned your title as the champion. Tomorrow's opponent would be the Magu Kenko. That name sounds similar to that troublesome one we encountered on Yashiori Island. Oh, Paimon doesn't think it'll be an easy fight. Don't worry, Paimon. The Shogun's chosen envoy may be strong, but tomorrow's match doesn't prohibit the use of visions. I'll make a formidable team. Oh, really? As long as we can track its moves, an opportunity to strike back will present itself. Oh. Hearing your confidence sure makes Paimon feel better. I cannot guarantee that we will win, but we must try our best. If just to give the crowd a show, they will not forget. We can win, Ayaka. It'll definitely be an exciting match. I can tell you two are already raring to go, but it'd be best to conserve your energy and get some rest tonight. We'll also be able to see Ayaka's new outfit when we wake up tomorrow. Ayaka in a Fontaine dress. Oh, Paimon can't wait! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, well. I can't wait either. Do you want me to pick you up in the morning? <laughs> Sounds like there's no way around it, Miss Ayaka. Oh, if I wasn't busy tomorrow, I would have loved to come see as well. Ah, uh, I suppose it's settled then. I'll wait for you at the Kamisato Estate tomorrow morning. Cool. So let's claim the prizes. And all of those are mine. So the last one, we have to complete the quest uh, called Warrior's Spirit. 
to be able to unlock. So let's go ahead and Every journey has its final. wait until the next day, 5 to 12, says. It's about time to head over to the Kamisato estate and pick up Ayaka. Oh, Paimon's been waiting to finally see Ayaka in her exhibition outfit. Okay, let's teleport over there then. Oh, uh, look. Ah, you're finally here. Hirotatsu. This is the guy who was, uh, being a jerk before. Ugh, it's Hirotatsu. The Traveler already beat you a few days ago and won the championship. What else do you have to say? Hmm? Don't worry. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just wanted to apologize. Traveler, I lost to you fair and square a few days ago. Your swordsmanship is excellent. Each strike was precise, but not aggressive, which speaks to your character. I ask your forgiveness for misjudging you and offending you with my words and actions. It's okay, it didn't bother me. I enjoyed our fight. The two of you must be here to pick up Miss Kamisato. She's in the dressing room right now and should be out soon. Traveler, before the young lady comes out, I have a bit of a presumptuous request that I hope you can consider. Sure, what is it? Although the young lady has never mentioned today's exhibition match to us retainers, she has spared a few hours every evening to practice her swordsmanship, despite how busy she is. The young lady has always been diligent and conscientious, although it's just an exhibition match, and it won't matter if she loses. I trust that she will do her best to win. As a retainer, I do believe in her, of course, but... Uh, I still hope you can support the young lady in the arena and ensure her safety. Don't worry, I will. Traveler, I leave the young lady in your hands. Oh, there's her new outfit. Oh, that must be Ayaka! Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I've seen this available in, uh... In the store or whatever. You can actually buy this. Neat. Oh? What's the matter? Why are you two so silent? Is there something wrong with the outfit? Not at all! Ayaka, you look amazing! You're radiating beauty! This look really suits you. It's a beautiful outfit and it suits you perfectly. Just look at it! It even has the crest of the Kamisato clan embroidered on it! Oh really, it does? Yes. Onadera had someone from the family make it over the last few days. I heard it was based on suggestions that the spectators had written on the ballots. The outfit is well tailored and offers more freedom of movement than I had expected. Paimon can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces when they see Ayaka! Thank you for the compliments, Paimon. Traveler? Now that we're ready, let's head to the arena. My lady. Okay. Traveler. I wish you all the best in the exhibition match. Thank you. Let's go over there. Oh wait, let's talk to Hirotatsu first. <sighs> My lady's outfit is beautiful. You can tell that she adores it too. <sighs> I'm relieved to see you both looking so composed before the match. Okay, cool. Hey, look! Miss Kamisato and the Traveler have arrived! Although I've seen <laughs> illustrations of this outfit before, seeing Miss Kamisato wear it truly brings some unique flair. Oh, it was worth lining up super early to get front row seats. I'm really looking forward to today's match. Wow. Ayaka became the center of attention the moment she appeared. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The Warrior Spirit Exhibition match is about to begin. Please enter the arena in an orderly fashion and take your seats. Miss Kamisato, Traveler, please come with me. Okay. Are you ready, Traveler? I'm ready, let's go. Good. Let's give it our best. I look forward to fighting beside you. Oh, there it is. I forgot how to fight these things. It's been a while since I fought one. But... 
I imagine just beating it up will work. Okay. So. Oh. Lightning flash. Oh, that's interesting. He currently has his uh. Snow. Yeah. Is what, what do you call it on? Presence. Certainly worthy of being the Almighty Shogun's chosen envoy. But with you by my side, we will emerge victorious. Let's go. I I'm pretty sure that I had the Dendro yeah. element uh, equipped on Aether before. So, they switched it specifically for this fight. Take flight. Whoa! Hey! Can I heal her? Yes, I can. I didn't know that I could actually heal them with, uh... What do you call it? Is this a trial version of Aether? Hmm. Oh! I know that this is a trial version of uh, Ayaka. Oh no, I used it at the wrong time. The funny thing is, is I pressed the button just as it started to do that. I was like, oh no, it's too late to stop. At least it's only level 70. You know, the Magu can go. Actually, I wonder. Uh, is there some kind of, uh, like, special... You know, am I supposed to beat this in a certain amount of time, or what? Oh, come on, really? Or maybe I'm not supposed to get hit by it, or something, who knows? There's probably some special rules that I need to follow in order to be able to claim, like, all the prizes for it. Anyways... We'll see. Traveler! Ayaka! We're over here! That was an extraordinary match! <sighs> I don't know much about swordsmanship, but even I was caught up in the tense atmosphere of the arena. <gasps> My heart's still pounding even now. Your opponent's moves kept surprising Paimon, but it seems like the two of you were prepared for that. I guess. Traveler, Miss Kamisato. Congratulations on winning the exhibition match. Hello, Sara. Hey, it's Sara! You came to watch the competition too? I was ordered by the Almighty Shogun to observe this competition. You two displayed remarkable swordsmanship and cooperation. Not only did you present the beauty of the sword arts to the audience, I was also able to learn quite a bit myself. I'm flattered. All of you have been busy with various preparations for the competition. Today marks a perfect ending to this Warrior Spirit event. Your efforts have been recognized by the Almighty Shogun. I must return to the Tenshukaku and report on what happened at the exhibition match to the Almighty Shogun. Everyone, please excuse me. Okay, see ya. By the way, does everyone have plans now? If not, why don't we go to Uyu Restaurant for a victory meal? Great idea! We've been so focused on the competition lately that it's been a while since we've had a good meal. Let's go! I mean, I ate a couple of sweet nadans during that fight, but okay. <sighs> What's wrong, Ayaka? Uh, oh, it's nothing. The effects of winning are only now starting to sink in. Kujo Sara said that she learned a lot from the fight, and so did I. Although the audience members might not have noticed, there were many moments where I would have been in trouble if it weren't for you by my side, drawing away the opponent's attacks. Without you, it would have been impossible for me to win on my own. It's just as I expected. My swordsmanship is still far from your level. Ayaka, you helped me many times as well. You're being too modest, Ayaka. Really? Hearing you say that makes me want to spar with you all of a sudden. To tell you the truth, I've been hoping for an opportunity to spar with you ever since we first met. That wish was half fulfilled today at the exhibition match. Next time, we'll find a chance to go a few rounds. That's sure. I... But, until then, 
Make sure you take good care of your sword. If I ever manage to steal it one day, your life will also be in my hands. Okay. <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. Did it sound strange? It sounded very much like Miss Orith. Uh, it was cute. Hey, what's the hold up here? What are you talking about? <laughs> we were just talking about having a match to determine which of us is the superior sword fighter. Wow, you are so serious when it comes to swords and chip. But aren't you friends with the traveler? Why do you need a match? It's precisely because we're friends that we should spar often and learn from each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, guess that kind of makes sense. Traveler, keep all I just said a secret? Oh, okay. Huh? What did I have to say? Nothing. Let's get going. Okay, so that quest is completed. Let's claim any prizes that we can. Oh, you have to fight against it again in order to be able to get prizes. Okay. Interesting. And it seems to be following the same rules as the other ones. Um, is there anything else as far as, like, the, uh, uh, the quest, the story part of the quest is concerned? No? Okay, then let's go back in here one more time to, uh, fight against that thing. Okay, so it still has the ferocious combo lashes. Uh, let's go ahead and do the hard difficulty first. And hope that it isn't going to be too difficult to keep up with it you know, attack patterns and stuff. Mm. Okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to do that three times in a row. Oh. There we go. Cool. Come on, Aether. Okay, cool. I got it down to half. Ah. There we go. Just a little bit more. Oh. I thought it was gonna do an overhand slice. Okay, cool. Uh, I should have this now. Oh no. Almost. Darn it. I messed up big time there. Okay, cool. Just a little bit more. Oh. No. Okay. I think that I need to redo that, unfortunately. Okay, redoing the hard difficulty very fast. To get it below 90 seconds. I have a feeling I'm definitely going to do better this time. Wow, I did worse that time. I'll try this one more time, and if I can't get it this time, then I'll do it off camera. Because it's not like it's you know, really any different. Ah, messed up timing on that again. That attack is really hard to gauge properly. Darn it. So is that one. Oh. I was trying to use the uh, parry option to see if I could uh, reduce the cooldown on Aether's normal attacks. There's like a slight delay. Ah, darn it. Definitely messed up there. I only have 27 seconds left. 
uh, to get him down to zero. Ten seconds left, basically, to get him down to zero. Come on, you. Three seconds left. Darn it. Did I do it? Who knows? Maybe. I'm gonna move on to the pro. At least I don't have to worry about the timer for pro version. Well, I do have to finish it in three minutes, but... Oh. Wow. Oh, he's not taking damage because of the uh, mask blocking him, right? Whoop. There we go. Huh. Oh. I should have waited, darn it. Oh well. Oh, that's new. That's new. Ah, uh, great. This guy definitely is different from the uh, other enemies that I faced in this challenge. Hey, I now know how to deal with that one where he throws out several attacks in a row like that. Well, I say that and then I mess it up. If I'd uh, gotten the first parry, though, I would have gotten the rest of them. Unfortunately, I keep messing up on the first parry. I may actually uh, die if I'm not careful. Oh, I thought he was going to do that weird uh, attack. You know, the new one that he has. So I was waiting for it and I messed up. Gotcha. That's what I'm talking about. I think I've, uh... I'm gonna win. Even though it looks pretty bad there for a second. Nope. Maybe I lost. I wasn't meant he had a sliver of HP left, unfortunately. I failed at the very end. Gotta try again, one more time. Okay. At least now... I should be able to beat him. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. I messed up on the stupid ghost part. Darn it. The ghost always gets me. Hmm. Oh, well. Is it, like, a ghost or, like, a phantom or something? I don't know. I messed up on this, too. Darn it. At least I didn't take any more damage than necessary from that. Darn it. No, I'm not gonna take any more damage than necessary from you, dude. I don't think I'll let you pull that off. If I can avoid it. Yeah, I think I stopped him. Awesome. It does make you feel really good when you successfully manage to parry. The problem is, is that if you don't manage to parry successfully, then you just feel all kinds of awful. I have a minute and 20 seconds to get rid of the last little bit of HP. I think I can do it. Oh, I managed to parry it. I'm surprised. 
I was not expecting to be able to do that. Awesome. I think I canceled whatever he was about to do there. That's funny. Just a little bit more left, dude. Oh, wow. It happened to be that attack. Yay! Okay, let's go ahead and claim any prizes we can. Hopefully I can claim all of them. Okay, cool. I can claim all four of them. And there's another thing I can claim that I'm going to be stopping, which is uh, this right here. So I claim that. Yay! Level 20 there. I noticed something else, too. What's up with this? Story quest? Uh, a new hangout event, maybe? Oh, no, it's just the thing for claiming keys, okay. Uh, you know, when you complete commissions and you get points towards keys to unlock story quests and stuff. Anyways, so yeah, this is where I'm going to be stopping. Thanks for watching. Next time I play, I'll be doing the newest timed event, Almighty Arataki Extraordinary, an exhilarating extreme beetle brawl. Uh, so, yeah, look forward to it. Bye-bye!